Hello, y'all. Let me reintroduce myself. I showed y'all the broken part of me. In actuality, there's a lot of love here. I got a lot of love. What up, y'all? It's Kiana Renee. A back free with heart. Another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking fear. about the art of letting go. Those of you that have suffered from letting go, a hey, we've all been there. And I'm just gonna take a brief moment of just talking about my my own experience with letting go. You know, God, he he warns us. He warns us the red flags. He warns us when things are not destined for us. And you know, I had to learn through my journey of letting go is chip at it away little by little. If it doesn't serve you, it if it doesn't bring you peace, then you're not missing out on much. And that's what I had to learn, especially when it comes to friendships. I realized that, you know, our season was done and I had to learn to let that go. And also with relationships, you know, with significant others, you think that they're going to be there in the long run because that's what you're hoping for. But in actuality, it becomes a soul tie and it becomes toxic. You say things that you never thought in a day of your life you would say to this person because, you know, you thought you loved this person. And not to say that you don't, because from my experience, you know, I, I love the people that I was with at one point. And I think I will always love them. But it comes to a point where creating space and letting go. Like I, I didn't know how to let go in a healthy way. I couldn't sit down and have a conversation with people. It would be more of like just ghosting or blocking without an explanation. And with that, I learned that because it was done to me. Someone that I thought we were very close with, she ended up just blocking me. And it's just like, man, what happened? But it's because we weren't emotionally mature and we were younger. But now I have to take accountability for that, for the people that I didn't explain myself to. I had a hard time explaining myself to. And with letting go, it's a process just like anything else, just like with working out, just like with eating healthy, just like mastering a, a craft. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes real wisdom. With letting go, I'm still learning to let go because, you know, those memories will pop up with that, that person that you think about. But you have to remember that they're not who you thought they were. And you're not who they think you are. You've changed. And all we can do, especially when God brings us in a season of separation, is to pray for that person, forgive that person. And letting go, I think it connects with forgiveness as well. Letting go and forgiving that person, especially the damage that has already been done. It's good to, you know, tell God, you know what, I forgive so and so, Lord. I forgive them. I forgive them, Lord. And then let it go and just pray for them. Pray after that. Because letting go, it's a it's a beautiful thing because that means God has something even better for you. God has someone even better for you. And going it in the biblical, biblical way is the most important because I, I see a lot of times, especially in, in my generation, that we, we have this toxic imagination that we don't need to get married, that, you know, it's just a paper. And at one point I thought about, I thought this too, thought it was just a paper. But then when I read the Bible, God, he honors covenants. He is a, a family man. He he loves husband and wives, and that's why the enemy tries so hard to tear away families. That's why you see a lot of people having babies and they're not married, and it's a generational curse. You know, we are created to marry man and woman, and for the longest, I thought I was going to be marrying a woman because I, I didn't see myself being with a man. And God's and God, He's working on me. He's He's working on my heart. He's working on my healing. That way, 
I can get married in the future. And I am a wife. I just didn't know it at the time. And now I see how God is is shifting me because, you know, I'm speaking on the LGBT community because I was a part of it. You know, I was, I was a part of it. And this video is not to knock the LGBT community at all, but this is to show that God's love, Jesus's love is more than somebody that you're fornicating with, someone that you're having sexual relationships with. Because if we really sit down with ourselves in the secret place and see, how did, how, how did I end up here, Lord? How did I end up with this woman? What hurt wounds made me get to this point? And then you'll see the timeline. God will show you the timeline of when the seed was grown. I witnessed my mom being abused. So in turn, I didn't like men at all. I was actually kind of disgusted by them. Still kind of am. God's working on me. It's a working progress relationship. But how God, he spoke to me is I would watch Transformation Church and I would look up videos on, on it'd be like recommendation videos about like people getting delivered from homosexuality. I'm just like, I was just looking at it. I'm just like, man, these people are brainwashed. So I would, I would think that. And then God, he spoke to me. He was just like, I'm going to show you who I truly am. And you may think you're this way, but let me show you who I am first. And since then, God's been chipping away at my, at my buildup walls of hurt, of trauma. And I got deliverance in March, and it's been an ongoing process of God healing my heart, healing my, my, um, what is it called, man wool, my, my, dad wounds, my father wounds. And it's a beautiful process. And I think if the LGBTQ community really sit down with themselves and really, you know, ask God to help to deliver them, then I think people would be less traumatized. I'll just say that because for me, I feel like if you're straight, and you never had a problem with homosexuality, you never had a problem with being transgender or queer, then you don't really, you don't really know. You don't understand. And you can't really speak on things that you don't understand. But for the people that have come to Jesus that experience homosexuality, I feel like, you know, it, it is our duty to speak for the LGBTQ community because we've been there and we've done that and we understand where that comes from. And to come at people with love, not hate. Not saying, you're going to hell. You're going to hell. Same sex. Ah. You know, we're not doing that. All right? Because God, sin is sin. Not one sin is greater than the other. And just because you straight, but you're over here fornicating with other people, hey, still not right. All right? But the art of letting go is letting go of who you think you are and letting God tell you who you are. I think that is the art, mastering the art of surrendering it to God and letting God know that, you know what, God, I don't know myself. You know what, God, I am her. I'm surrendering this to you right now. And so that's what this video is all about. Just mastering the art of letting go, surrendering to God and knowing that you may identify as one way, but who's to say you're not someone completely different from who you called yourself to be? and God is here to heal. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to the YouTube channel here at the Hope Tribe. We're here to grow. We're here to connect, build communities, make a difference, feed the homeless, make foundations, make LLCs, and get it popping, okay? Mind over money in Jesus' name, all right? God first, and just know you're not alone, all right? God bless you. Fiona Renee, out. It's love. 2020, we had the world shut down, AZ bound Didn't let the opinions of others tear us down Thought of you as a friend But friends don't do the things we did Had you thinking it was love I was playing pretend, drowning in sin My flesh was weak, wasn't listening